Say simply southern roots. Hey guys. So to start with, I was out of bandanas this morning, so I had to improvise with one of these masks that they, they've got, so I just used it. So you guys seen the other day, why was I here chasing the uh, pigs around in the yard, so they have rooted their way under the fence and got in with the big pigs and eased out the gate under the gate. So we're going to uh, take the hog wire and put along their fence row for they on their side. We gotta divide them up, but not today. And uh, we're gonna put this wire stuff along the fence and tie it all back up and get it more secure so they don't get out. So that's our that's our project for today. Yeah. Head these in the yard hurt the yard. We had them up in the garden and they do really good. The deer stuff has mowed down the garden so we're pretty much done with it this year. So we're going to take these. I'll have to get her some more this spring but we're going to take these and drag them out here and take the buggy and pull them in, out to the back so we can get this started. What do you think these, these hogs weigh, guys? Give us some comments. Give us some comments what y'all think this is. We think we're somewhere around 250. They won't let us get close enough to measure. They, measure. they won't let us measure. We tried. <laughs> they won't have nothing to do with that. Mm -mm. That's old Grinch right here. Grinch is the one that he, uh, we first got the lit when he was little. Um, he reached in there and thought he was going to pet him. He about took his arm off. <laughs> so we nicknamed him Grinch from the get-go. It was in January, so it was right after Christmas. Yeah, right after Christmas when we got those. Don't be mean. All right, we're going to take the cattle panel because they have done got the sheet and goat wire pretty well pushed in at the bottom here. And so we're gonna try to stiffen it up and see if it'll hold them in. The little pig's done all of this. The big pig didn't do it. Uh-uh. So when we got rid of, we took Smokey off, she wanted to put the big pigs over there to kind of root around. And that's exactly what's happened. <laughs> so we're just gonna temporarily fix this with some zip ties of the smaller brand. I don't know if these are hold or not. I think I've done two. Yeah. I gotta get some more. Should have went yesterday. <laughs> I've almost thought something was wrong with him because he laid around so much. He was just lost. <laughs> Find his way out. Huh? <laughs> yeah, what a hold. What's up, big guy? Biggie. 
They, they, they won't be able to lift that one up. got a lot of hog expense leave us a comment about their size rings to put in their nose and how to put them because I ringed the little pigs but I think I put them too far out on the nose and they just like it never happened I'm not sure what happened get these little pigs back in here and then in a week or so maybe start on it next weekend we're gonna separate these guys up we'll have three in here and three over there and we're gonna separate another divider over here so that way it'll uh, put the bigger pigs over on the end because they're going away in October that'll give these guys some more room and got to get troughs and shelters and all that stuff dirt over the back back there on the back wire. Mm -hmm. Look at that, can I? Can I <laughs> His girls are in heat. He knows it. just a little short piece to bend to the gate so we went I had a piece left over from where we had cut one of these off and uh, it had, had it back behind the shop so we're gonna see it see if this is long enough to work I believe it will be so we'll put it on there and I think that'll do it Watch his hands, now these 
this stuff together and then we'll put stakes right there. Yeah, I'm going to put stakes here. And that's going to be the weakest point. Yeah. And then we'll put another one right there. Yeah. Right there. So it ain't exactly long enough. What we're gonna make do. Right there is a weak point too. Show them their rings. Zoom in on, on one of I got them too far out, I know it did. I didn't know. And now I think we may have a problem as they get older. I may have to cut them, cut their rings out or something. I'm not sure. They don't, boy, they don't know about that, do they? Uh -uh. <laughs> I don't like you. I don't know if you can even see them in the camera or not. That's what I was talking about. I got them too far out to the sides. I didn't know. I... Been quite the learning curve. Some of the bigger pigs are uh, a little bit friendlier than the other ones, than the little ones. Not when they're eating or not. Yeah. thing don't go through there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Pull them up tight. Alright, so now I think we're situated enough. Our wire wasn't quite long enough, so we took some tomato steaks. Rebar. Rebar, yeah, the rebar tomato steaks, and uh, just tied it up to temporarily get us by till we can get the other side of this built and get them separated. So we're going to try to get them rounded up now. <laughs> that one's closed. Alright. Don't tell the big pigs what we're doing, 10 4. And that's a wrap, folks. See you next time. Thanks for watching Simply Southern Roots.